Over 50,000 sets of ears waited to hear the cannon blast, signaling the stroke of noon. The Oklahoma lands opened for settlement at 12 o'clock sharp on April 22, 1889. Many boomers, as they came to be known, left their homes, packed their families and all of their earthly goods into wagons, and risked all to make a new life in the Oklahoma lands. As the signal rang out, multitudes rushed to claim their plots, resolved to build a promising future for their families. The boomers of Oklahoma genuinely embodied the spirit of their age, the pioneering, determining spirit that characterized many missionaries of that century as well. Many refer to the 19th century as the great century of missions. Missionaries in the 1800s were defined by their determination to reach lost souls with the gospel, even if it meant never returning to their homeland. Their unwavering commitment to world missions stands as a paragon of devotion today. There is a need of missionaries staying long-term on the field. We are seeing a lack of commitment amongst missionaries today, and well, amongst Christians in general. The longevity of missionaries staying for 20, 30 years, we're just not going to see that. And we need to get back to that, that faithfulness, that commitment, that longevity of staying there a lifetime. In these modern times, it is harder for missionaries to stay on the field because of technology. It's so easy to connect back home, to stay connected through FaceTime and other social media, and it keeps them connected back home. And God doesn't call them to be connected back home. He calls them to where they are at and, and to be connected there. And so there is that danger of always being connected back home and never fully engaged where God has called them. I've sat in a mud hut in Kenya drinking a Coca-Cola and talking on the cell phone. Here a secular business has a passion, has a goal to cover the earth with their product. And so if these secular companies can overcome these obstacles that are there, what about us? Should we not have that same kind of passion, more of a passion, in sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ to find out where there is no church, where there is no gospel message being preached, there is no access to the gospel, and what are we going to do to get the gospel there? I don't believe there's any closed fields in the world today. Now there are restricted access nations, and so we just have to be creative, and we can also call that creative access nations, where we just have to be creative how we're going to get into a country, and maybe we may have to start a business, maybe teaching English as a second language, then we can, by the grace of God, overcome whatever obstacle is in the way that's hindering the gospel from moving forward. If it wasn't for missions, where would you be today? Somebody had a heart to reach you. In my life, it was my parents that had a heart and a passion for God that carried over into my life. And I caught that heart, I caught that passion, I caught that vision. Of course, trusted Christ as my savior, and that's what helped me to have a heart and passion for the Lord. And so if there's anything I can pass on is just remember the generation that's gone before you, watching their example and, and those that have invested into your life, don't throw that aside. Take that to heart. You know, someone's invested, someone's made a commitment. So just be faithful. Don't quit, don't give up. You can do it, you can make it through, but there's a world that needs, that needs Christ. The next generation of students will know what mean these stones.